Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We filled up the Jazbees 14 box. NBA is almost back. Mixer, a random team mixer with a couple great giveaways. Look at that. So at the end of the break, we'll re-randomize everybody's names. Name on top, we'll get that. Luca, right there. It's pretty nice. And then the second name on the randomizer, we'll get that. Now, if there's any points, we'll give it to the third person on that list. All right, and then they'll get all the points. It'll be all as one lot. That's what the mixer includes, including this box right here. Give me some, uh, I think 1670 might be Ben Simmons era right there. So there you go, some really good stuff. Big thanks to all of these folks, whether you won spots or bought spots. Thanks for being in the break. Thank you. All teams are in as well. You're in. Teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it seven times. Lucky seven. Two and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got Matthew down to Charles. Seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, six, and seven the final time. After seven, we got the Chicago Bulls down to the Trailblazers. Now trade at your own risk. We've got a bunch of different years in this. So just think about your different draft classes from before. All right, here we go. Matthew with the Bulls, Zach with the Celtics, EA with the Suns, Bradley with the Warriors, Howe with the Bucks, Courtney with the OKC Thunder, Chris with the Mavs, Adam with the Grizz, Patrick with the Wizards, Joe with the Kings, Adam with the Magic, Aaron with the Sixers, Rodney with the Rockets, Mac, you got the Jazz, Mike with the Hornets, Jordan with the Pacers, Bradley with the Heat, Thomas with the Nuggets, Ryan with the Knicks, Brandon with the Raptors, Gordon with the Spurs, Sean, you got my Lakers, Kyle with the Cavs, Anthony with the Clippers, Kurt with the Pistons, Brandon with the Hawks, Tony with the Nets, Brandon, last spot mojo, Pelicans, there you go, Scott, Timberwolves, and Charles with the Portland Trailblazers. All right, let's alphabetize by team. All right, there you go. I'm going to hit the pause button. Let me actually just show you, there's all the different boxes right there too. There are the blaster boxes, We've got a, some Donneris at the very back there. There's that 1617 set. We'll probably close with the uh, prism and the two choice boxes right here. We've got this guy right here too. So some pretty good stuff. We'll pause the video, allow for a little bit of trading time. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then the break. All right, welcome back folks. There it is, our 14 box NBA is almost back. Basketball Mixer on a Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Here is the official printout. No trades right here. Let's pop that right there. Let's start with, these are the, these are the giveaways right here, which are gonna be pretty awesome. We'll do that at the end. I'll leave that right here so I won't forget. Let's get this knocked out first. It, Big box of uh, cello. Oh, it's really raining down there. I'm watching uh, the Gander Truck Series, or Gander Trucks at Kentucky, whatever it's called, the Truck Series. And apparently, they're just calling it after the stage. Yeah, his first career win. You can see on the top camera these blaster box will be just off camera. Make myself a little bit of room here actually. So for you racing fans out there, so it, what's the, after, if you do well in, in the truck series, maybe Gabe knows, is like the next natural step like Xfinity racing and then, and then Cup Series racing?
Gotcha, gotcha. So the natural progression is... Alright. What's before Truck Series? What are you racing? Are you, I guess maybe you're doing dirt track racing? And if you're good at the various... there's, I mean, there's so many different, like... I can't even, I can't even begin to figure out all the different dirt track vehicles that you can drive, but... Oh, Arca? Arca West and East? What kind of... What are they driving those? I hope it doesn't rain all weekend. Oh, similar cars to cut. Okay. Yeah, it'd, it'd be cool to it'd be cool to get into get into racing in Cal in Southern California. It, it's it's more, I think it's more NHRA type stuff is really popular around here. The Irwindale Speedway near where I grew up, and obviously the California Speedway that they built. Motorcycle racing, I think, is pretty big. They had the Long Beach Grand Prix for, I think they still might do that. There's a dirt track in Orange County somewhere too. That's gotta be such a crazy progression. I mean, you gotta start as I'm assuming you start really young. You're a kid, just like any other sport, right? Racing go karts and stuff, and then faster go karts, and faster go karts, and then maybe dirt tracks, midget cars, the big with the big wings on them. I mean, I guess more powerful versions of those. I think the I think the i racing stories are are really interesting too. Like the people who get into doing simulated racing and then upgrading to act, driving actual cars. I mean, that's got to be wild. I was watching this thing, this uh, Le Mans special, and there was like this kid that they were tracking, it was like rookie driver, <clears throat> who got a seat on a Le Mans team, and he had come up from like iRacing and stuff. It's Carson Edwards. All right, good luck everybody. So just in the interest of time, we're gonna try to breeze through as much of these kind of quickly but if it's like a significant rookie especially if it's a parallel we'll definitely pause on that but I think it's just veteran commons don't ship except for vet oh, a little bit of a dent there of course veteran commons won't ship unless it's Giannis LeBron, second year Luka Doncic cards, and uh, and Kobe Bryant if he has any base cards in any of these sets, which I'm sure he does at some point. But otherwise, veteran commons don't ship. Inserts, of course, will ship. Rookie cards obviously ship. You know, inserts will ship. Rookie cards, autographs. So this Derek Favors is a parallel, obviously. So that will that will ship. That insert will ship. Luka Doncic will ship. Pretty standard. If you've been joining our breaks. Like silver, DeAndre Bembry will ship. And there's an NBA debut. Zion. That goes to Brandon. All right. First one, first of however many, I don't know. 
We'll find out. This break does take a little while, folks, so get comfortable, settle in. And silver LeBron James MVPs. Now I think the base ones still go for like five, ten bucks maybe, and I think the silver ones may go for twenty, twenty-five dollars. Uh, it's, it's been a couple weeks since I've checked, so that, those prices might be different, but maybe graded a hundred bucks. And th there it is, right there. So both of those will go to Kyle and the Cavs. Actually, that's an insert that Luca would have shipped anyway. All right, so these are the pink camels that are exclusive to this uh, this sort of this retail cello pack, hanger pack set, whatever you want to call it. And of course, these are all parallels, so all of this will ship. Maybe a Zion or a Jaw in here would be pretty cool. And Hachimura is nice. He's got some upside. I'm a believer. And uh, no Bradley Beal, I think, for... The basketball restart. There's LeBron. Nice Zion right here. Pink camo Zion. NBA debut. Another one for Brandon. Um, I think that that Hachimura might be the. I don't. Know, I don't know who else is on that team. So uh, that might be hashtag good for the hobby to see Hachimura. Uh, hopefully get the ball a lot. Nice. There you go, Brandon. That's a nice hit. Probably be able to do more of that absolute baseball tomorrow. All right, let's. What else should I do? get this out of the way right here? I'm gonna get the base heavy stuff out of the way first. All right, then we'll do the blasters. Then we'll close out with prism and then the choice boxes right there, which are, I think are the most expensive out of all these. Oh, we got some NHRA stuff happening here. This is crazy too. Yeah, technically a rookie. Yeah. Gotta figure it out. Are those pink camel bronze really still going for 40 bucks? I'll figure it out. I mean, I'll, prices are wild. All those LeBrons will ship anyway, folks, so if I miss any throughout the course of this long break, don't worry. Our shipping team will take care of them. I'll try to catch as much as I can.
Yeah, it is kind of crazy. I mean, hey, in, in, enjoy it, folks. Enjoy it while it lasts. It's like any other market, right? It's like the stock market, you know? Things will go, things will be up. It'll inevitably, market will go down and it'll probably go back up again, so. Oh, this is 17, 18. So Tatum, the main one we're looking for, maybe. Among others, I'm sure there's some others. Just do that so they don't forget to pull that Giannis. Yeah, Kuzma's a rookie in this set. Markel Fultz, there you go. 99. I've said this many times before. I'll say it again. Markel Fultz. I'm hoping that he he blooms late like Victor Oladipo. Maybe the cha change of scenery to Orlando will help him out. I mean, he's a former number one overall pick. Like, you telling me that... And before the draft, I feel like the consensus was that he'd probably be up there first, what, at least a top three pick? So... He's got, he's got the n n like number one pick pedigree, top pick pedigree. Is Rondé Hollis Jefferson to ninety nine? So maybe he, bam out of bio too. So maybe he emerges, does something, makes something happen. Miami Heat, Bradley, with the Heat, and M Mike McCarthy, Mac with the Jazz. Those falses will go to Aaron with the Sixers, of course. Isaiah Thomas for the Cavs. Gold, 25. Cavs edition. Uh, we'll go to Kyle. All right, we got Kawhi Leonard right here and Ron Baker, Jersey Series for the Knicks. That will be for Ryan Cannon. <laughs> they did say something similar with Anthony Bennett. I don't know. Was Anthony Bennett wasn't? There's the Tatum. I don't remember what they said about Anthony Bennett. I feel like that was a reach though, wasn't it? Nice Jason Tatum. For the Celtics, Zach Wynn with the Celtics. I feel like I've seen some of the some some of those PSA tens go pretty well. There's Al Farouk Aminu to ninety nine. All right, we'll get to see, top load all those later. Um, Let's go back to 2014-15. Who's the, uh, who are we looking for in 2014-15? Yeah, we pulled that in the college football break last night with Joey B. And a Tua in that same break too. Is this Giannis class? 14-15 or is Giannis 13-14? Embiid here.
can't grab that, that lip right there. <laughs> there it is. Good luck. Marcus Cousins. Paul George. Ah, the, the Tyler Enos rookie class. That, that's, that's who we're looking for. Uh, yes, DJ, tomorrow. Yeah, that should definitely go tomorrow. Vonley wasn't where where is Noah Vonley now? Wasn't he supposed to be someone highly touted? It was Kevin Love. Press proof Markel Brown. A lot of different parallels in this. It's almost kind of chronicles y. We're going to follow to 111. Chris Bosch. And for the Rockets, Terrence Jones. Game threads. That's going to go to... Tracy McGrady autograph. Wow. I was just thinking, oh, here comes a T Mac die cut. But instead, it's a 7 out of 10 die cut and autograph. Nice T Mac for the Rockets. It's another one for Rodney. I was not, not expecting that. D. Turk says, I took a photo of Noah Vonley at a bar in Indiana. He was like 18 at the time. He caught me, took my phone, and deleted the pic and said, wait till after the club. He's supposed to be pretty good. I don't know, just, just didn't quite work out. And there's Austin Rivers. Game threads for for Brandon and the Pelicans. Oladipo is much nicer. Oladipo seems like a much nicer guy. 
Well, I don't know. I don't actually don't know much about Noah Vonley, but and in interviews and stuff, Oladipo seems pretty genuine. Alfred Payton, the rookies, the answer, and James Ennis. All right, one more of those boxes. What a great, it, Oladipo is a great story. I think. I think that's what he's the primary reason why. Like I keep thinking, oh, who's that late bloomer? Like Victor Oladipo, if Oladipo can do it, surely Markel Fultz has upside. Are we buying low on Markel Fultz, you know? But it's got to be tough. These kids are getting signed after a year of college, or 18, 19 years old. Back in the day, what, players were playing three, four years, right? So they've got four years of basketball experience. They're grow growing their bodies, probably a little more mature. Tiny bit, I guess. You know, have a, have a little more fundamentals under their belt. You know, maybe maybe a couple humbling moments. You know that they have to work through. But nowadays, those humbling moments come with a big NBA contract and on, on big major networks. And if you don't play well your first year. Everyone's just like, well, there, there it is, bust. And then that's another set of pressure to kind of work through. One of these boxes. Then we'll work through those uh, 18, 19 boxes. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There's Joel Embiid. Sixers rated rookie Aaron. Nice. The pro trust the process, folks. Sixers playoffs. What? How do we feel about the Sixers in the playoffs? They struggled so much on the road. What a weird team. Someone, I think, someone yesterday mentioned they have the best home record and the worst road record. Sure, what that is? Is that coaching? Is that just mental? Both? It's not good for not good for the playoffs, though. I mean, I think they I think they are a playoff team. I think they're already like the. Six seed, something like that. So un unless like they lose all eight or nine games that they're playing after uh, at the restart, and then someone else wins that same amount, I'm pretty sure they're they're in though. Another Joel Embiid, different picture, and a Roswell Butler autograph for the Wizards. That'll go to Patrick. So yeah. I I think they got to be in. I think it'd be 
pretty difficult for them to get out of the playoff spot, but All right, another one. Aaron with that one. Greg Monroe. Court Kings, LeBron James. That looks sharp. Sleeve stack right there. Marcus Aldridge. Brandon's saying they don't travel well, so game one away rough, but after that they should be good to go. How far do they get though if they're if, if they struggle that much on the road? Got to win a road game. It's Kyrie for the Cavs. Joe Kim no, I think did the Clippers sign Joe Kim? They. Picked him up for some bench depth. It's Jersey King, 16 out of 25, LaMarcus Aldridge. Trailblazers edition. That will be for Charles. Kobe. RIP, you missed that guy. Rookie autographs, Mitch McGarry, 199. Thunder, that'll be for Courtney. Courtney on the board with an auto. How about the Rockets? Is this, is this the year the Rockets get over the hump? People seem to suggest that maybe James Harden Getting a little bit of rest is good. There's a Dree in pain. Oh, I thought it was going to be an autograph. Tiago splitter. And then just being able to rest up and then just, you know, go full speed into the into the playoff. Go full speed in the playoffs. Just warm up with the remaining games and then go full speed in the playoffs with Westbrook. Dominators, Kawhi Leonard, Spurs edition. All right, so now let's roll into, yeah, let's roll into 18-19 hoops. So Brandon with the Hawks. They need to sit up straighter in their seats. Who else? Chris Erickson and the Dallas Mavericks. Maybe keep your ears perked. Keep your eyes open for potential Trey Youngs and Luka Doncic's. So two boxes, two opportunities for for the uh, for the top tier rookies from 1819. In fact, we're getting into some 1819 uh, immaculate basketball a little bit later tonight. If you want to view that, schedules in the chat. car qualifying. Isn't there some uh, air race world championships? What are, like airplanes? A 
about air racing, Gabe? Well, how do we how do we feel about air racing? That's that's a Watch this in a long time. I feel like they've they've done a they've done this in like San Diego or something like that, like like the Red Bull Air Race series or whatever. Yeah, those pilots are really skilled. Also, the the drone races, drone racing, man, that's wild too. This looks like a lot of fun. Ooh, Gabe, being an airline pilot is your dream job. Nice. There's AC Green autograph. Hot signatures. Hot, hot, hot. For the Lakers. Sean Maddock has my Lakers. Oh, I can't hit those pylons? Man. Troy Daniels to 199. Make sure I don't miss any uh, Lucas while I'm eyeing this air race here. Ricky Rubio. Wagner. That's Lakers LeBron James, by the way. This is 1819 hoops. this pandemic behind us so we got an airplanes again Michael Porter Jr. for the Nuggets that will be for Thomas and there's Kobe Legends of the Ball for the Lakers, of course. Come on, Luca, Luca, Trey Young, Trey Young. Uh, Robert Williams, the third rookie ink. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Ryan H is a pilot. Ryan H could, uh, if we if we ever pull Ryan H like a monster Zion or Jason Dominguez or something like that, we can uh, he can fly. I, I would assume he could fly over here. How many stops would you have to make, Ryan H, to get from the East Coast to to say Santa Monica Airport? Or I guess Torrance has a commuter airport here to Torrance. Just one stop. That's it. In the in the kind of plan that you have. There you go. How you? How many hours would that take? I don't know how long fueling takes. Come on, not even a basic rookie card for Trey Young, Luka Doncic. No, I don't think I missed any. There's Giannis. No, guess not. Six hours of fuel. All right, so you can probably. Yeah. How does, how long does it take commercial? I guess you're going into the wind, into the jet stream. So that that takes some takes some time.
No, oh, you do it in two days, not 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 a day. No, no Charles Lindberging for you. I can't imagine that. Charles Lindbergh in an in like an open cockpit plane, just, just with just with a leather helmet and some steam. Oh, it wasn't steampunk back then, but steampunk goggles and a scarf and just oh I see nine hours of flesh true nine hours of flying is a lot and you have to pee like three hours in without fail it's not like you can just pop over to the bathroom in the back right yeah limber could just pee off the side did he he must have right Flying over the Atlantic, he'll just be like, "What is? How does he do this? He has one hand on the cockpit and the other hand on on the uh, in the co Just, just oh, does he open a window? Just over the side? Does he stand up? If I had a chance to time travel." I'd, I'd want to go back in time, talk to Charles Lindbergh, and be like, yo, real talk. I mean, I don't know how long that flight take, took, like tw 12 out. I don't know how long it took him to go across the Atlantic from New York to Paris, but... Maybe he just kind of has like a yeah a onesie sort of flight suit unbuttoned and maybe there's a hole on, in the in the bottom. Like, how did that work? Thirty three hours? Is that really? A yeah. Well, I definitely want to know how the, how he managed that. There's a Luka Doncic rookie card. Yeah, he must have. Yeah, he must have been on that like. That what, what, when when was that? Nineteen twenty something. Yeah, he must have had that like. Pre depression era grade. Amphetamines, nineteen twenty seven. Yeah, so. Before before the big stock market crash, a couple of years before that. You know, so that that like depression pre-depression grade <laughs> amphetamines which were legal probably yeah they were legal, legal back then pops a few of those but yeah I mean Probably drinking a lot of fluids. He's got to pee at some point. Where is, where, where is he peeing? <laughs> what? You have buddies who do cross Atlantic balloon flights? Are we t a hot air balloon? Are we talking a hot air balloon? There's DeAnthony Melton. Rookie ink. Like in a basket? Wow. Uh, this is for the Suns. That'll be for EA and the Suns. One sixteen says, "You think you think Lindbergh just just let it go inside inside the flight suit? Keeps him warm." There's Trey Young. Nice. There you go, Brandon. All right. This is this is yeah. I mean, it's got. I guess it's got to be in a pretty intense basket. All right. It's not like it's not like a hot air balloon trip and like. 
in Palm Springs or something like that. <laughs> All right, so what, what do they do? Do they just pee over the basket? Wow, Lindbergh to King George. Good research, Ryan H. His chair was made of wicker, and there was a hole in it, and there was a funnel below that hole, and his waist, whenever nature called, would go down through there into a sort of aluminum can. All right, see? Knowledge, folks. Knowledge. We have learned something today. There is Damon Stoudemire for the Trailblazers. That'll be for Charles. Charles S., not Charles Lindbergh. Oh, so it's cold up at altitude, so cold up at altitude that they have it built into their suit. These are Ryan's buddies who balloon across the Atlantic. And they have it built into their suits. Oh, Bam out of is not a rookie. Like an astronaut. That is wild. That is wild. All right, getting there, folks. Actually, let's do this first. Seventeen, eighteen. I'd like to imagine Ryan H's friends in like a a wicker basket and like a like a scarf and a couple sandbags are around the edge and they're just floating across like some Jules Verne tail or something like that I don't like to think of them having like this big like spacious rig <laughs> With all this professional gear on there and wearing spacesuits essentially. Do they, Keegan? Did we buy from you? 24 hour breaking, Mike Tower? No, that's like a once a year thing. Maybe next year's Bowman. Bowman baseball or Bowman draft. Oh, sorry, Marquise Chris and Willie Cauley Stein. Kings, that'll be for Joe and Dreesen. Oh, relative to Limber, I mean, maybe I'll just have to, yeah, maybe I'll have to have a, a can and a funnel. There's Rodney Hood. You should have joined the break again, <laughs> when it Win him back. Jason Tatum. Celtics, Zach Wynn. Yeah, I suppose if 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 I had if I had what what Lindbergh was having, I could fashion the same seat that Lindbergh fashioned. I could probably do twenty four hours of breaking. Did I 
go through these? I don't remember. Let's just do it one more time. I think I did. So yeah, I see what you're saying, Mike Tower. I get it now. I could do 24 hours. If I had the amphetamines that Charles Lindbergh had, you know, maybe keep it ice cold in here just like it would. If I, Maybe we should do Lindbergh, a Charles Lindbergh break. When, when, when did he... What year, or what year, 27, but what time of year was it? What if we have a Charles Lindbergh themed 24 hour break party where we keep the conditions inside my studio as close as we can, keep it as close as we can to, uh, to Lindbergh in the plane. Justin Patton, Hollow. I want a Tatum Hollow. That would be pretty cool. And I don't think it's going to happen. No, Nikola Vucevic, orange to 199. Gabe's is May 20th, 21st. All right, so join us next year. May 20, 21st. Jaspi's first Charles Lindbergh break where we will we will uh, replicate the weather conditions inside this studio I will sit in that wicker chair and uh, yeah you're looking at it Kyle <laughs> 14 box NBA almost back is that breaking tonight yeah you're looking at it we are one two three four five six minus we're eight boxes in the 14. Yeah, mimic the conditions, have the same bathroom facilities that Charles Lindbergh had. You know, get it real cold in here. I'll wear, I'll wear like a bomber jacket and a scarf and maybe some goggles. Same as Charles Lindbergh. Right, Turk, exactly. 2008 SP Legendary Cuts, Charles Lindbergh hair, cut signatures. You get, get that. Right, I don't want, yeah, we do not want to mimic the uh, Amelia Earhart break. Did they, did they find her? There was like a documentary a couple years ago where they're like, I think, I think the, the hook. The tease, the hook, the was that they found her, but I don't know if they actually found her. I think someone was saying they're like, I don't know, 90% sure that it was her that ended up on this island and they like just kind of sat there for a few months and most likely starved and died. To died. I think some people were saying that they heard like some of her SOS calls from that island, which is kind of spooky. DeMonte Sabonis, James Harden Orange, 199. Jakob Pertl, Steph Curry, Champions here to 49. Damian Jones. This is 16, 17, so I think Ben Simmons is the main guy that we're looking for here. Remember, his autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck, Ben Simmons is. So, consequently, his, uh, there's Jamal Murray for the Nuggets, Thomas. Consequently, his rookie cards, out uh, of this Panini stuff, I think back in the day went for a lot of money, still might. Steven Zimmerman, rookie auto. There we go. There's something weird with that sticker going on there. Not sure what that is. Uh, 
But that will go to Adam and the magic. Mike Tanzio saying 1920s prices on brakes. Nice. Adjusted for inflation, of course. We'll have NT basketball. Pelicans are like five cents is what the price would have been in 1920. <laughs> to 199, Serge Ibaka. Cheek Diallo, Ron Baker, Jacande, Marquise Chris. Junta Murray, Joe Johnson to 99, and Bismarck Biombo. All right, so now we're getting to the quicker stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. What are we, how are we doing on time? I said I'd be done with this at around 6 o'clock Pacific. Yeah, it might be a little bit over, but I think we're in decent shape. No, I'd, I'd bait and switch, Gabe. I would bait and switch. It would still be the regular price. It'd still be 2020 prices. But we'll be like... <laughs> That's what the price would have been in 1920. We're still charging the, 19, the 2020 prices. What if you went back in time and told someone who was uh, smoking tobacco, right, and got like a, one of those T206 cards? And if you told that person, you know what, in a hundred years, <laughs> it's going to be a million dollars. The person would think you're crazy. Be like, you'd be thrown in jail, I think. There's Emmanuel Moutier nuggets. They'd be like, who is this crazy person? What kind of crazy clothes are they wearing? Jonathan Isaac. Oh, and a Ben Simmons. I wish this was a year earlier, but there's a Ben Simmons 16 or 17, 18 prism Ben Simmons it's from the blaster box. That'll go to the Sixers. Aaron with that one. All right, Donris Optic Blaster. We have another mega box break of this stuff coming up a little bit later tonight. Oh, let me drop the schedule again. Should do that more frequently. All right, coming up after this, probably gonna take a quick five minute break to catch my breath here. And then a uh, mosaic fast pack, fast pack, fast break pack that gives away the final spots in that full case immaculate basketball break. RJ Barrett, my house. Uh, no, Kyle, sorry. I think you got some like calves, like LeBron calves parallels and stuff like that. But nothing significant, I'm afraid. Not yet, anyway. There's Terrence Mann, signature series. Clippers, that's going to go to Anthony with the clip show. At least none that I remember, Kyle. All right, another blaster box. But everyone still, if you have not had a good break, you still have a shot at these, folks. 
Oh, did you did you buy? Uh, were you the one that bought one of the Pokeballs last night, Kyle? Nice. Those are great. Those little, those little uh, tins are pretty. Uh, they're like aluminum. The the Pokeballs, they're actually constructed uh, uh, pretty well. We've got some like like little mini lunchbox type things too. You might 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 convince Teddy to add some to the to the site if you want to do that. But the Pokemon's great. We the crew here at Jaspies we goof around with that all the time. We always uh, we always buy those up. We'll be bored and we'll buy Pokemon packs. Gotta catch them all. Still trying to get to level 40 on Pokemon Go, ladies and gentlemen. That way I can turn, I can nominate Jaspies as a, uh, as a Pokestop. I fought Jesse and James today. I've not been able to beat any of those team leaders, though. Maybe one, and that was it. All right, let's do this old prism mosaic. Back when they still called it prism mosaic instead of just instead of just mosaic. And then we'll close with those blaster boxes. Should, or uh, choice boxes that we finished the blaster box. The choice boxes. All right. So this prism, of course, everything will ship here. Parker, Derek White. These aren't numbered, but of course they will ship. Terrence Ferguson again. Ooh, what do we have there? A Hornet? A Murder Hornet? Malik Monk. Autograph. That's for Charlotte. That's going to go to Mike. Mike G. 28 out of 99 on that one. There's Mosaic Football. 116. Is that coming out? Wow. And that's Kaz LeBron James. All right, choice time. Wow, did we go through third? We, did we go through 12 boxes and no points? Nice. All right, there's Jalen Knoll. 25. Aaron Gordon to 99. Jalen Knoll, Timberwolves, goes to Scott. Aaron Gordon for the Magic, that'll go to Adam. I think these are the two autographs right here. So let me slide these out like that. And Admiral Schofield right there. Jalen McDaniels is a Jalen Noel autograph. 30 out of 35 going to Scott Blackwell and the Timberwolves. And behind Jalen McDaniels to 99 is Cam Reddish. Nice. 
Rookie Dominators autograph, 77 out of 99, Brandon. Cam Resch has not reached his final form yet. So there's still got some upside. Nice Cam Reddish. And Jalen McDaniels, of course, will go to Mike and the Hornets. And the last choice box, optic choice. One autograph in this one. A hollow Zion Williamson. In the very last box of this 14 box break, that goes to Brandon, who bought the last mixer spot straight up, got randomized the Pelicans. Brandon Tharp, there you go. I don't know. Could it could it grade out like this? Uh, the edges look a little weird on this one. Maybe that's maybe that's something, or maybe that's just something that could be cleaned up. I don't know. But either way, very nice. You still have a chance to win that one too. All right, we got Derek Favors, also for the Pelicans. We got Casey Okpala for the Heat. That'll be for Bradley. And Taco Fall for the Celtics, Zach Gwynn. And behind Ignis Redzikas for the Knicks is Ja Mor What a box! Ja Morant, rated rookie autograph. Wow, this is what makes his choice choice. Adam Kupperman, who won his spot, his mixer spot, in a blaster break, gets randomized the Grizzlies and ends up in the very last box, the John Morant autograph. That is nice. I guess the red without the autos are numbered. The red with autos are not numbered. Wow, so <laughs> what, a, what a box at the very end. We're still giving away. That goes to person one, that goes to person two. Let's go back to the list. What a break, folks. What a break. So we'll grab Brandon's name down to Patrick. So if you had a bad break, you can, you can easily cover your spot with some with these giveaway cards here. If you had a great break, this nice cherry on top. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize it seven times. Lucky seven, top two after seven are winners. Top name, LaLuca Doncic. Autograph, graded auto. And the second one, the Zion Williamson Hollow, just like the one we just pulled out of that box. After seven, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, thanks everybody here. Congrats to Bradley. There you go, Brad. The Zion Williamson 9-5 going your way. And Aaron S. I don't, Aaron, I don't know if I called your name too often during this break. You get the Luka Doncic 9-5-10. So Bradley, there are... Oh. All right, let's check this out once again. So Bradley Quinter, edges, corner, surface, all a 9.5, centering a 9 for a 9.5 grade on that Zion hollow. Congrats to you. And Aaron, centering, edges, corners, a 9.5, surface, a 9, his autograph, a 10. Lulu, Luka Doncic. This looks like 28 out of 99. Rookie Dominator. Pretty excellent stuff. Congrats to both of you. 
Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. And look out for more mixers. We'll probably give away some more cards and stuff like that in those mixers. Good opportunity to get some, uh, some nice stuff. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you next time. jazbeescasebreaks.com.